Hi, I'm Gina, president and founder of Heavenly Horse Haven, a nonprofit horse and farm animal rescue organization. This is an update on Ringo, a horse that we rescued nine months ago after local neighbors and animal control called us. Uh, we were told they were going to put this animal down. He was left by his owner after losing her home from foreclosure to basically starve to death. We arrived to find no water on the property and we had to run hoses from the neighbors. He was very dehydrated and his he couldn't walk. There were flies covering him. Uh, we were called the vet to see what she thought and she thought that maybe you know in time we were, would be able to save Ringo and he could probably walk with no pain. His feet were as you can see in the pictures he had a club foot on this side that hadn't been touched for years his coffin bone was nearly coming out of the bottom of his foot the other side was chopped off or sawed off by somebody because it had gotten so long so he was stepping on heel on one side and and a bone on the other we had x-rays and a special farrier came out to you know analyze what to do they got to work and after months it seemed like of of feet work uh, when they got into his foot they found open abscesses uh, his bone was infected we had to put him on strong antibiotics but in time uh, they were able to put shoes on him and he looked fairly normal he didn't tolerate the nails in his foot very well so we had a barefoot shoe Rochelle come out and we started putting glue on shoes on his feet uh, he was doing really well with the glue on shoes and abscesses you know stopped we were able to finally take the shoes off uh, Ringo every day would have to have painkillers because as you're changing the angles of his feet the tenants were being pulled which was very painful so he was on three but a day and one night one cold night he colicked real bad and so bad that he lodged himself under the fence rail. It took four of us to pull him out at about one o'clock in the morning and a dog named Luke in the picture, you know, licked and barked and made sure Ringo got up. After he got up, we really didn't know if he was gonna be alive in the morning. But to our surprise, the next morning, I got up with a warm bucket of water and there he stood and drank the water and started to eat. But the one thing that he didn't do is his normal bucket with medication. He would not touch it. He decided on his own that he was never going to be on medication again. And probably that's what was causing his stomach to, you know, colic. So we, as it is now, he's off of pain medications. He has no shoes. His abscesses are dried up. He takes his walks. He's walking so much better. He has quite the attitude. Uh, bright-eyed and happy uh, he's gained probably a hundred pounds as you can see in the picture he's walking pretty well visiting with all of his little animal friends and uh, I don't know in the beginning when he came he would have to roll on his hind end with both legs to take a uh, one step forward as you can see in the picture now he's walking on all fours uh, you know still pain on the one side but you know nothing in comparison to what he was and definitely he doesn't look like a horse that should have been put down uh, he took himself he goes into the round pen he walks around the more he walks the more circulation the better for him by the end of the walk he's a little bit sore but you know, it's still better for him in the long run get the circulation going. Ringo is a stallion, and so when he came, we put him in a pen away from others. Uh, since then, uh, we've moved him now so he could be closer to the house so I can watch him better. So we moved him in with the llamas, and he's closer to other horses, which makes him 
walk around and and socialize more just keeping him up is 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 a big thing when he was on all those pain medications he was constantly laying down all day long which is not good for the stomach and not good for the circulation here's a picture of his neighbors or his roommates Raja and Abu Ringo and other animals like him need our help due to our economy. Please visit our website, heavenlyhorsehaven.org, to see how you can be a part of saving a life. <laughs>